Hey, welcome to this video. If you arrived here, you're probably searching for a view of Contently, so go for how it works. I'm gonna give you my two cents, whether I think it's a good use of your time. I'm always coming out with videos like this, so consider subscribing. And if you'd like my free training, that are on the simplest, fastest way, to earn a full-time income from home, all you have to do is click the link below. You'll see my email opt-in page. Enter your best email. I could send you my free training if you want. Contently, let's dive in. So what it is, basically, it's a... Um, it's a, uh, so it's a website that allows you to find freelance work. Uh, you can see the homepage is really trying to appeal to clients. So they say things like achieve a 6x ROI. Uh, we only hire the best. They even offer case studies on another page, which tells you as a freelancer that they're only looking for highly qualified talent. So if you don't have years of experience or you're not great at what you do, then don't even bother applying on here. You won't get accepted and you won't be matched with jobs. Uh, you can also, uh, they also serve very high-end clients. You could see Marriott, like Marriott, Dell, RBC. I'm sure you've heard of these. Um, now, what kind of services could you offer on here? Well, really anything content related. So um, th they do have a list of you know job examples, gigs. You'll see mostly writing jobs, but also they offer, you could do photography or illustration or editing or UX design video production is, you know, uh, you could be a strategist, um, really anything related to content. Now, as far as the sign up process, it's pretty straightforward. You just uh, go to, you know, uh, freelance and then join. And, um, you know, and then you need to register, submit your email, name, password, confirm your account via email. And then you'd fill out a profile with your skills along with a portfolio of your past work. Now, then you'd have to wait a few days for them to review your profile. Um, and if you're accepted, you would complete some training. Um, and then you can, you know, finally start working and hopefully land some jobs. Uh, now you could be, now to land jobs, you could either be matched with clients you, with Contently's port, um, algorithm, or you could apply to jobs that are listed on their job board. Um, and the, you know, the page I showed you, that that's what the job board would look like essentially. Or you could just be matched to jobs, so which is probably better. Uh, most of these jobs are looking for you know five plus years of experience. Some of them, you don't need that much experience, but you do need to, to be a specialist in some area, maybe you know healthcare or technology or finance or what have you. Now, a couple of things I really like about Contently are if you land a job, they tend to be very high paying. So up to a dollar per word for writing gigs, for example. Other websites offer like under 50 cents per word. So, you know, one to 50 cents. So a dollar is, is great. Not all of them will pay that much, but some of them will. Um, but again, it's for this is not for beginners. This is for, you know, or even intermediates, I would say. It's for advanced uh, people who are very advanced at what they do. Another nice thing about Contently is how you could get paid. So all payments are made as soon as you submit your work. And clients would pay Contently before the, the project, um, before they post the project. So you don't have to be chasing clients or anything like that. The money will be deposited right into your PayPal. There's no waiting period um, as soon as you complete the job. So, And there's no minimum withdrawal threshold. So that's pretty good. There's no hidden fees either, which is great. I mean, they contently probably could charge a monthly fee because they're handling all the payments for you, all the marketing. You don't have to worry about that. So, so it is nice that they make it free. Two major cons with this website, however, are they won't accept everyone. Um, and even if you are accepted, it's not like you're guaranteed 40 hours of work a week. The work on here can be quite sporadic. Uh, maybe... You do get one $1,000 gig every couple of months, but that's not going to sustain you. Now, but uh, if you want to check out Contently, you can check it out. It gets my stamp of approval. They have a very good reputation in the industry from both clients and freelancers alike. So you can check it out. Now, two other websites you can check out are uh, Fiverr and Upwork. Um, if you don't necessarily, if you aren't, if you're just kind of want to get your feet wet um, and you're not like you don't have five years of experience or you're not, you know, amazing at what you do or you want to freelance, um, not necessarily do content, but maybe you have some other skill to offer, whether it's IT or customer service. 
uh, or sales or anything not related to content. So you can check out these two. But um, maybe you don't necessarily have a skill. You just want to start earning a bit of money online. And if that's the case, you can also check out uh, Survey Police. So this is different survey websites. A survey website is just where you'd answer, you know, a 15 to 45 minute survey and they usually pay between 50 cents and $2. So you're not going to get rich from these, but uh, they do pay out real money, these websites. GPT websites, I wouldn't bother with because those pay like 10, 20 cents an hour. So, um, but again, you're not going to get rich doing this type of work. It's just a way to start earning uh, your first income online, hopefully, if you don't have any skills. But even if you do have skills and you want to freelance, um, it's not the best way to earn, in my opinion. Yes, it is a step up from, you know, a regular job, but you're, it is still kind of like a job at the end of the day. You're trading time for money. You have that ongoing pressure of delivering projects. And as soon as you stop working, you stop getting paid. There's no leverage in that. You're never going to uh, become financially free or, or, you know, very successful your income is always going to be capped. There's an invisible ceiling on, on how much you can earn because there are only so many hours in the day. So you only get paid, you work eight hours, you get paid eight times whatever you're making per hour. Uh, there's no way to scale that. Um, and if you want to take a day off, you can't really do that. You're really you're pretty much glued to your laptop all day, every day. So so it's not the best way to earn, but it is it is a real way to earn. Uh, but look, maybe you're here not necessarily because you want to freelance. Maybe you are just looking for the simplest, fastest way to earn, you know, a full-time income or a very nice side income from the comfort of your own home. If that's the case, what I recommend is click the link below. You'll see my email opt-in page. And to your best email, I could set you by free training. That'll detail a business model. You could do 100% from home. You could be one person, a solopreneur. You don't need any special skills or credentials to get started. The startup costs are very low. And my favorite part, there's lots of leverage and automation in place, meaning you don't have to be there all the time. So if you want to go hiking or fishing or spend the day with your family, you can do that and still be generating, um, you know, earning sales in the background on autopilot 365 days a year. And the income potential is way higher. You could earn way more money with an online business than you ever could with freelancing. So that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope to see you on the other side of that link and I hope you have a great day. Bye.